quick video on fuel disconnect because it can be frustrating and I, I want to just give you a little tip. Um, fuel disc this happens to be a 5.3 on a 2004 Suburban. Fuel disconnect is right there. Now some of the older ones, there. Th this happens to be 2004 like I said, there used to be two here. On this particular one there's one. But the idea, and this one also actually has a protection clip on it, but either way, um, the idea is the same. The idea is, is, is totally the same on the way these things work is. And I'm going to explain it. So this is a situation where unless you take it off, there's no way to understand what's actually happening here. Um, we're we're going to refer to the this as the, the male and this is the female. On the end of this male right here, there's a lip. And on the inside of this female, there's almost like two barbs. And the barbs, when you push this thing all the way in, it goes past the lip and then the barbs open up and it catches, it catches that lip. It's possible you might be able to see in there. There's one on the bottom and there's one on the left hand side, right in there. And you need to, with the tool that you have, which is either something like this, or there's some plastic ones. This just happens to be a metal one. It's a 3 8 and a 5 16 You need to put, obviously, you know this, you need to put this like this and push in here. And what this tool is doing is pushing down the barbs. Makes sense, right? It's pushing down the barbs so that the female can slip over that lip and the barbs don't catch on it. Here's the problem, and this is why you're frustrated. You're pushing on this thing you're pushing on, I'm going to show you why I just did that in a second. You're pushing on this thing and nothing's happening. You're pushing like crazy and nothing's happening. I'm pushing a lot of force on this thing right now and nothing's happening. Why? Because the barbs are right up against the lip and you can't push them down because there's, they're, they're catching on that lip. What you need to do is, watch closely, do you see that move? It moved maybe a sixteenth of an inch, but what that did was that it created a gap between the the um, the barb and the lip, and that's going to allow you to push it down. So you need to hold this and put the tool in at the same time. But it's got to be pulled towards you to make sure that the barbs are free. I'm going to connect you right here and. This will be a little difficult for me, but it'll be, it'll be, you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to show you what I mean. You're going to, you're going to put your tool in, right? And you're going to hold this, this fuel line. You're going to pull it towards the front of the car and then you're going to push this in. And I, you, you just saw it just push in. I'm pushing it with my left hand too. And it very easily just pushed right in. And once you push it in and it's, it's in there, you can now pull that out very easily. Make sure you have a rag. Now let's look inside there. Let me take you off this clip. You see it? I, I hope you can see it. There's barbs in there, four barbs. And this piece has got to push it down like that. The problem is, is that if it's right up against the lip, here's that lip right there. If it's right up against it, it won't push down, especially if it's an old car. This one has a little bit of rust on it. You see that? It's possible that on a new car, it may not do that. But if you're having trouble, it's most likely because there's no gap in between the barbs and the lip. I hope that helps you out. And uh, good luck. Good luck with whatever work you're doing. All right, see ya.